Hello, my name is Mark and welcome to Iron Organic Gardening located in Zone 6B in the state of New Jersey. And I have a really nice stand of garlic here. So the one of the questions that I receive all the time, is garlic considered a cover crop? Yes, it is. It's very simple to understand why it's considered a cover crop. Now, it's not an efficient cover crop compared to other things like, say, winter rye that I'll show you later on because of the length of the root. And we're going to dig some up and I'll explain to more of that fact to you you but it is considered a cover crop now I will as a test trial plant a tomato plant in here I will harvest one garlic plant here and it's called green garlic and we have their escapes that are on top already right now and are looking good and I have to harvest them today we've been getting quite a bit of rain in the last week or so and it's kind of difficult to get out in the garden and do these videos for you but I'm trying my best and yesterday we were visited in the same area with some foxes now this garlic is considered a cover crop again too because it has that living root over the ground for a cover crop of anything uh, to work it has to have that living root in the ground over winter now that mycorrhizal fungi that's in your soil naturally or you can buy it it's your choice will grow inside that root as a host and then send out fungi in the soil and spread and grow soil. Only nature can grow soil. We can add things to a soil like amendments and compost and organic matter, that type of thing. But only truly nature can grow soil. And what that fungi does, it spreads out throughout that soil, lifting all those soil particles that are bound together and then they break apart because that fungi grows in between it and that lets air and water in. And it's a beautiful thing. Nature has been doing this for billions of years. It depends which way you think how old the planet is. Now, what's nice about this is that we don't have to do anything. We plant our garlic, we're gonna get food out of it later on, and also too, we're building soil for free over winter. Now, on a scale of one to 10, garlic I would say is probably a three, on a level three of building soil or uh, have that root system is there because the longer the roots the more mycorrhizal fungi can host and go into the cells of that root and grow more so cover crops are kind of dependent on how deep they can grow meaning the roots and how uh, how much roots they can produce in that area so let's dig up the garlic right now and I want to show you the roots so let's gently dig up this one garlic that we have here in the middle. We'll remove a little bit of our leaf mulch here. I don't want to pull it out because I really want to get a good example here of this garlic. Now, ooh, there's quite a bit of, there's our garlic. And there's our root system. I don't want to touch it too much. But you can see over the time here, now the bulb is still kind of on the small side, not too bad. Now we can eat those garlic scapes on top. But you can see here, that root system is pretty, pretty nice. So all, each one of the cells inside this root can contain mycorrhizal fungi and spread throughout the soil and build and grow your soil. Like it says, only nature can do this. Now, what I'll do is I'm gonna show you a chart later on that will explain and show you a little more that if I want to plant a tomato plant in that hole right now that I dug out, I can because all the other mycorrhizal is in the soil and will help that tomato plant grow. So let me just show you. This is a test trial and show you later on. We have our nice tomato plant. So we're going to just make sure all the roots are not root bound and is nice here. And what I'm gonna do right now is open this up and plant our tomato plant. Now I'm gonna plant it a little bit on the deep side, like so, and go right around it. And then I'm gonna take some leaf mold and put it around our tomato plant, take off some of these lower branches here. Now, I'm not worried about disease because when it rains and knocks this tomato plant down, I have some leaf mold here that's not gonna splash the soil back onto that plant. There's a nice little tip for that too. Here's a chart and I'm also gonna list it in the video description there too and I please look at it. Now, the type of fungi that we have, there's two types, there's endo and ecto. So we're gonna look at endo at the top of the chart and ecto is on the bottom, but we're gonna mostly talk about endo. So now we have here, garlic 
which is in the endo section. Now if we go down here, over on the side here, we have tomato. Oop, I want to get you in view here. We have also tomato plants. So they share the same type of mycorrhizal fungi, which is amazing. So is it helpful to grow your garlic next to your tomato plants that you're gonna be transferring later on? So if you wish to, in the fall when you're planting the garlic, you can space your garlic out further so you can put a tomato plant in between, or you can do what I do is harvest that garlic, we call that green garlic, and I do sell that also in the farmer's market and people go crazy for it. They get the scape that they're buying and also, I know the garlic bulb isn't that big, but a lot of people love fresh garlic. It is just a personal chef choice of your own kitchen, what you prefer. So, very good. Now, let me explain again. We have all those roots on the garlic pine, like so. And let me just tap this off, and you can see that they're pretty decent. But again, that's going to help you grow mycorrhizal fungi in your soil. Just like I'm using winter rye in my raised bed here as a cover crop. Now you can go back in other videos. When I dug down, those roots of the winter rye went down two feet almost to the bottom of where, let's say, the soil. And now I pretty much have leaf mold in there and soil mixed together. But I had to, what I wanted to do is a living root over winter so I can grow that mycorrhizal fungi also in there, but also bring air and water down to the bottom of that bed so we can store it. Plus, I'm growing soil. Plus another great example is your strawberry plant. And where did all the leaves go to? Japanese beetles this year have just been devastating us. So again, nice strawberries. Mm, it's time for breakfast. Good stuff. Now again, perennial living root in the ground. All your herbs are perennial living roots in the ground over winter that can help grow that mycorrhizal fungi. Oh, they are sweet and I can tell just by looking at them. Oh, they're good. Mm. Oh my God, that's good. Oh, happy morning to me. I'm glad my foxes didn't get into that. Oh, next one. I'm sorry if you're jealous, but I'm telling you. You completely can understand those fresh strawberries right out of the garden. Oh, I'm in heaven. So we have a nice tomato plant planted in here. It's going to work very nicely because we have nice healthy soil that we've been building over winter. And also too, I want to explain this. When you have a garlic patch here like I do, or you use a cover crop, mycorrhizal fungi can grow better in the winter time and is more productive and growing. The reason why is because we don't have anything other like nematodes. Now there's nematodes that eat fungi and there's nematodes that eat bacteria. There's all different kinds of nematodes but those nematodes are kind of sleeping because of the soil temperature but your mycorrhizal fungi is growing all the time and it doesn't need that soil temperature as much as nematodes now or other things that eat the uh, fungi in the soil so awesome so I hope you enjoyed this and yes I'm going to get to pick my garlic somebody yesterday wrote is like you got to pick those scapes real quick I know but we've had terrible weather I mean we've gone from 90 99 degrees as a high one day and the next day we barely broke 60 degrees as a day temperature and last night we got down to what 54 degrees unbelievable yes I am panicking as a farmer all the time but hopefully I can get out there in the field I thank you so very much for watching today's video it is truly amazing how nature works this beautiful garlic can, again can help us in two ways one give us food and also two it helps build soil over winter so you can plant your tomato plants in there or anything else too and it won't shade it as much uh, the garlic as you can see the foliage is not ever that dense that you let enough light can get in there and help your other plants that you want to plant in there so hopefully here's to building better soil and have a better garden and i enjoy you always watching my channel and appreciate it so much please like and share and i'll see you again shortly with another video thanks bye